Pinocchio was born in Vienna in 1928 and came to pre-state Israel at the age of 10, an early Bezalel graduate. He also studied in Paris. His paintings have a mystical vision celebrating the unity and spiritual beauty of Jerusalem. In later decades, his paintings were filled with Hebrew lettering. We heard more from Karim Rakia, gallery owner and daughter of the artist. So my father had uh, um, many styles, but uh, in his uh, Jerusalem paintings, they were like uh, for 10 or 15 years, he painted the only Jerusalem in a very spiritual way, uh, the special light of Jerusalem, the special feeling of the Jerusalem, the, the houses, the buildings, the walls. And uh, everything uh, it was uh, painted more spiritually than what it really is. It's like in his mind, how he felt it. So it wasn't so much a depiction of the physical space, but what it created or, or, or sparked for him. That's right. The yeah, that's right. And between those uh, buildings uh, of Jerusalem, he had Hebrew letters in them and Hebrew uh, words like uh, maybe the, the word the who, him, that is God, uh, or El, uh, Shem, and also just Hebrew letters growing up because he said Jerusalem is growing and also the letters are growing with it. There's a very uh, deep significance to letters in art, uh, mystical in Kabbalah, did he connected to this as well? Yes, he was a Kabbalist, and um, a lot of the words, of course, in his paintings are from the Kabbalah. He was first an anthroposoph, and then he decided he wants to be a Kabbalist, it's more him. And he studied Kabbalah, and a lot of his uh, art is uh, with the Kabbalah Tree of Life, and Sfirot, and uh, uh, words and ideas from Kabbalah. And these works are now, uh, there is the gallery as well that yes, also the shows... Yes, gallery, we always, we have, I have the gallery for 11 years here, and we hold the, my father's paintings, I also open the gallery for his honor. Also I have, uh, usually I have also other artists, but now we have the exhibition called Charles Rakia, and it's a solo exhibition of my father's art. Did you curate these works yourself as well? Yes, I, I wanted to have something from each period. I tried to have something because it's 60 years of art, so I tried to have something from each period. And a little bit, of course, the, the same color, so it has a, like a harmony in the works. Do you see an evolution in the works spanning such a period? He, yes, he, he, had, uh, he started uh, in Paris, actually. In, in Paris, uh, he, he painted the, the buildings of uh, Paris and uh, like, like uh, people a little bit. Uh, like he lived the, the city and then he came to Israel in 1960. And then he got like a shock from the Hebrew, from Hebrew and from Judaism and he, he changed his style completely. He had a solo exhibition in Tel Aviv Museum and since then he started to paint Hebrew letters in his paintings. Also Jerusalem, his paintings are very Zionistic and Jewish. Um, so he painted the Jerusalem and then later Hebrew letters, uh, only Hebrew letters, like a field of Hebrew letters. And uh, in the end, he, he painted the abstract paintings, more abstract. And also he had cosmic paintings, uh, very spiritual cosmic paintings. It's also influenced by Kabbalah. And we spoke also the connection or the layered meanings of the name Sharei Rakia. I, I thought uh, the gates are very important in his work. It's like also an opening to, and to different kinds of uh, styles in his work, Sharei, gates. So it's, it's also the gates in his work, in his Jerusalem paintings, and also the gates to, to his ideas, to his thoughts. Uh, this is what I wanted to, to do in the exhibition.